Hello guys, uh, in this video I want to check uh, Go based web frameworks and as a source I used uh, this uh, awesome Go repository they have quite a big list of Go based projects uh, and, and one of the topics is web frameworks so basically what I did I went through this um, uh, projects and selected top three uh, projects uh, which is Jin, uh, Bigo, uh, and uh, Echo. As you can see, they have quite some uh, GitHub stars, and uh, they updated quite recently. And in terms of features, they are like quite extensive. They have a lot of uh, features. And what I will do in this video, I will just uh, so this is like part one. Uh, what I will do in this series of videos, I will go through very simple implementation, like having empty web server. Uh, and then adding rest and and then the last step will be customization in the first part um, what I did for first part I just like created very simple uh, version of web server using this web frameworks I will show you in a second and uh, before we start I have quite uh, like not quite list of the features that I, I need in these frameworks uh, and first one is uh, having rest API uh, as well as uh, uh, support for web pages. So this means uh, when I want like to serve a simple HTTP page, uh, HTML page, sorry, uh, I, I have some uh, features in the framework by default. Uh, the next um, op like criteria for me is support for middlewares. For example, uh, let me show you, some, like, let me give some example. This can be gzip, or course or maybe authentication so uh, i need to have some um some way of customization or by default some middleware that i can use and the last one um, i already mentioned like that they need to be like uh, popular so by this i mean that like uh, community support uh when they were updated etc etc so what we will do in this video uh, as a first part we will go through very simple implementation as i said and for this i have a github repository uh, before we dive into the source code let me show because we will be um, so i will be updating this repository so it's go tutorials on coder blogger and under go tutorials now we have only one which is go web and source code is this one uh, so our first goal is, as I said, is like having a very simple web server, but our final goal is having this uh, REST endpoint. Uh, for this REST endpoint, we will need a data model that we, I will implement later on. But now let's go through each of them uh, and try to, as I said, implement a very simple uh, server. So first will be Jin, uh, which is like most popular one. And that's what they have as a like very basic start. So, and I have the same here. And let me start it in on my terminal. So I will go to the go web engine uh, and run go run main.go. So this will start my uh, web server on port 8080 and we can execute it. So let me go back. So as you can see, we don't have any web service, uh, web page. So I mean, uh, we need to specify ping uh, and it will return. And that's that's how in Gene you register your uh, road. Uh, so it's slash ping and it will return a response uh, 200 with some message. And uh, also on the on this terminal, you can see some nice logging. So let me a bit. Uh, Make it smaller so we can read it. So this one, so you can see like it's it has like quite nice uh, logging. Uh, yeah, so for now that's enough uh, for Jin. Let's move to the next one, uh, which will be Bigo. So go web Bigo, and in this one, uh, so this is also quite. So in Bigo they. Uh, like initialization is quite simple. Uh, it's like uh, five lines of code. Uh, let me run it and we run it the same way. Go run main.go 
and we have uh, server on same port so I will go back and execute server and in case of Vigo we have like default uh, error page for a four page uh, with a nice template I guess we can override it we will check it later and source code is, as you can see is quite simple uh, and of course there is a way to override like port and etc we will check them later on and now let's go to our last example which is echo uh, on their website they have a very nice comparison with gene uh, you can check it out and uh, I think this is longest example but they have like by default some middlewares I will keep it as it is so later on like we can try our some customization but for now let's go and just run it so this is source code let me start Bigo and go back uh, and check go web echo uh, and try to run it main go uh, and let's restart so in case of uh, echo as you can see on, on this side uh, we have quite some logs uh, with latency information uh, bytes which is like zero and etc uh, but th that's as I said like um, like our first goal is to just like execute and see uh, differences as you can see like each of them have uh, some specific points for example in case of uh, in case of Bigo it's like Bigo run in case of echo and this one you specify root uh, you specify so in, in this case you also specify run by default uh, you need to overwrite uh, default settings uh, but for now uh, yeah in this case you also uh, uh, register root uh, but but anyway uh, our goal with this video is like to have a very simple version uh, with the next step uh, I will add uh, <clears throat> rest endpoint uh, with a list get delete and then everything and at the end we will check like how we can do some customization uh, and that's why uh, to not miss the next videos please subscribe to the channel and also check me out on Twitter because I will post every update on this uh, social media account uh, it's a coder blogger and for now, thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye.